Welcome back to our summer Bible study on the book of Philippians. So we've now entered into this letter that Paul is writing, and it's a joyful letter that he's writing to a congregation that he has feelings of love and joy and hope for. So now we're going to continue on with the letter. So we're going to read verses 7 through 11 and talk about that today. So Paul writes, It's right for me to think this way about all of you, because you hold me in your heart. For all of you share in God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and my defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you determine what is best, so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. So we get a little window into Paul's situation when he's writing this letter. So Paul is in prison. He's writing to this community because he can't be with them because he's in prison. He's been imprisoned for the sake of the gospel. He's been imprisoned for his witness. Now, we don't know if it's prior to him going back to Jerusalem or after, but he has been imprisoned, and he's writing from prison to them. And yet this joyful letter still carries that note of hope and optimism for the future. And I think part of that is the love that he shares for them and the practice of love that they share for the community around them and one another. Again, that, that hope that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight. You know, that desire for them to be pure and blameless on the day of Christ, that, that their work and their love may show that they are followers of Jesus Christ. You know, like the old song says, that they will know that we are Christians by our love, by our love. And again, this is a, a hopeful letter. This is Paul writing from the midst of a, what is a probably a challenging time personally for him, but a time that he has hope for the continuation of the gospel, even though he's not able to be there as the leader, that, that he knows that God's spirit is moving among them, that this community with its, with its own leaders is beginning to plant roots and begin to show the the beginnings of growth that Paul believes will be that harvest of righteousness that the, the world can look at. So I look forward to sharing a little bit more of this letter with you tomorrow.